He's like, yay, it's my trusty dandy. So almost two years ago, we built butcher block countertops from scratch ourselves. Leave it all behind. Let it all go. We'll link those videos with an iCard if you're interested in watching them. So when we built these countertops, we finished them with a, like a cutting board oil and uh, a oil wax product to kind of seal them. However, we found that that has to be done really often. I knew going in that that was a process that had to be done somewhat frequently. And I kind of thought, oh, it's no big deal. It, it is not going to be a big challenge for me to have to do that. However, it did turn out to be. <laughs> yeah. Because if you think about it, if every month you have to remove everything from your countertops, clean them really good, and then apply this oil, a couple coats of it, wait for it to dry, uh, or wait for it to soak in, and then apply the wax, that's a time-consuming process. And I don't know about most people, but I don't have time to do that every month. So the result was that a lot of the finish a lot of that wax would wear off of the main areas where I worked a lot and was wiping it down, you know, after food preparation and whatnot. And then you're just working on bare wood. So I decided that I wanted to do something different, something that was a little bit more lasting. And so I did a bunch of research and there's a lot of information out there. Not all of it is true, but I came up with a product, tongue oil. A beautiful natural finish um, that, uh looks f fantastic when you're done. It's not worth it anymore. So I am applying the second coat of the tongue oil right now. Um, I'm trying to focus and make sure I have a really good coating on this space in particular because this is where I stand to do a lot of like food preparation when I'm making meals. So this counter right behind me and over by the sink are kind of the major like wear areas that I use the most. So I'm trying to make sure and get it on really nice and thick here. Uh, we do wipe off the excess so it's not like a polyurethane that you're leaving it on there. But I want to make sure that there's plenty on there for the wood to absorb. So just getting a nice good coat on there. So it's been just over an hour, which is the amount of time you're supposed to let it um, soak in. And now we're just going to wipe off the excess. And then it's a 24 hour cure time between either another coat or if we decide it doesn't need another coat, then we should be good to use these surfaces. But there's a lot of stuff we didn't realize about it. Yes. So after getting the first two coats of tongue oil on, and mind you, following the directions on the bottle, which were also extremely deceiving when it came to how long it takes for tongue oil to actually cure. We found it just wasn't really drying and the bottle said a 24 hour or a 12 hour cure time in between coats. And so, but we found that it wasn't really drying or curing like it was supposed to. Um, so, so I started doing some more research and I came across a YouTube video that was chock full of information about tongue oil and really, really clarified what tongue oil is good for and what it's not good for. So we'll link his two videos below that we use to kind of base our decision on what to do with our countertops and where we really changed course all of a sudden. Yeah, so one of the reasons why we were looking, we looked at uh, natural oils and, you know, food safe products is because uh, of the that marketing that's, you know, something is food safe. So um, he had a really good video on tongue oil and some of the uh, truths and myths behind using that, as well as uh, using like polyurethanes and that sort of stuff and uh, the some of the myths surrounding that for a food safe surface. So. Um, very informative. Very informative. I found everything that he said to be true from the experiences we'd had thus far and from what I experienced for the next week after we saw that and changed our minds. It took the tongue oil seven days for that coat to dry. So for seven days, you could come up and rub your hand on it, pull it away, and you'd have a film of tongue oil on your hand and you could smell it too. Um, and so, Anyway, again, that video was extremely informative and everything that he said, I found to be true in our own personal experience. Yeah. So, so about seven days to cure between coats and he recommended five to seven coats. 
Um, that's, that's a long time. It's a long time to not have a kitchen <laughs> that's working. And there is nothing at all wrong with using tongue oil, but you just, it's really good to know this information going in um, so that you can prepare yourself if that's the direction you wanna go. The reason we changed course right in the middle is because it, we realized that to put the coats on like we needed in a working kitchen, we live in the house that we're working on, uh, the kitchen would need to be down for like a month and a half and we just don't have that time. No. <laughs> we don't have that time. It would be beautiful when it was done, but we don't have that time. We quickly put the brakes on with the tongue oil and decided to start researching a different product, which we decided to actually go with polyurethane on the countertops. Yeah, so we just went with the Minwax polyurethane. A little less VOCs when you're putting it down, a little easier application. It's very similar to what we put on our floors and uh, it's, it's held up very well. So that's the product that we went with. Water-based polyurethane. countertops now polyurethane. Like I said, it'll take about two hours to harden to the point of light usage and 24 hours it'll be completely ready to use. So it's just now noon. Uh, we will likely stay off of these surfaces completely for 24 hours. I don't want to take any chances of messing them up. So I will continue to use my little workspace here for the next 24 hours. Looking forward though to having my countertops back. So we decided to go with the poly and so that is what we've done. It looks good. I think so too. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Me too.